Good morning. Do you know what this is? That's right, it's an envelope. I wonder what's inside, let's look. Mm, it's a letter. I wonder, have you ever received a letter before in the mail? Have you ever written a letter? Sometimes we write letters to our friends and family to tell them that we love them or to tell them what we've been up to or maybe about a trip we took or an adventure we've had. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning about an important letter written to the church in Rome by the Apostle Paul. But it's also a letter for our church today. Before we read this letter, let's make our hearts quiet and get ready to hear from God's good words. This is Paul. After meeting Jesus on the road to Damascus, Paul spent his whole life telling people the good news of Jesus. In fact, Paul spent years traveling to many different cities preaching the gospel and starting churches. Paul really wanted to visit the church of Rome and encourage the Christians there in their faith. But for years, he couldn't make that long trip because God had other plans for him. So instead, he wrote them a letter because he could not see them face to face. In fact, when Paul eventually got to Rome, he spent lots of time when he was in prison there, writing letters to many different churches. At this time in history, Rome was practically the center of the world. And there were many different people in the churches in Rome from different backgrounds, different cultures. There were Jewish Christians and there were non-Jewish Christians. Now, the church in Rome was struggling with a few things. Many people in the church were not getting along they were letting their differences divide them. So Paul wrote a letter to give them a long explanation and a reminder of what the gospel is. Have you heard this word before? The gospel? We sometimes use it a lot in church. Sometimes we use it so much we forget what it really means. So today we're going to talk about what the gospel is and what it means for you and for me. See, in Paul's letter, he explains that Jesus' life, death, and rising from the dead reveals that what God always does is just and right, and that God always keeps his promises. The human heart, your heart and my heart, it's broken by sin. And sin is when we don't obey God's laws. His laws in the Ten Commandments, which tell us to love God and to love people. Paul says in his letter that all have sinned and fall short of God's glory. But the good news of the gospel is that God has not left us in our sin. God chose to rescue us. Jesus took on our sins when he died on the cross. And by dying on the cross and rising to new life, we have new life in him. And that's what the gospel is. It is the love that God has for us displayed in Jesus Christ. And it is a love that is stronger than anything we can imagine. And this gospel allows us to love God and to love one another in the church and in the world through the power of God's Holy Spirit. Now, do you remember some of the things we learned about Paul this summer? He faced a lot of trouble in his life. He was stoned. He escaped death many times. One time, even, he was lowered over a wall in a basket, running for his life. He was beaten with sticks. He was arrested 
and put in chains in prison many times. He was shipwrecked. He was bitten by a snake. He faced many difficult things. But here, in Paul's letter, he tells us something about the gospel and about God's love. Let me read it to you. If God is on our side, can anyone be against us? God did not keep back his own son, but he gave him for us. And if God did this, won't he freely give us everything else? Can anyone condemn us? Can anyone bring charges against them? No, Christ died and was raised to life. And now he is at God's right hand, interceding for us. Can anything separate us from the love of Christ? Can trouble or suffering, hard times, hunger, danger, and death? In everything, we have more than a victory because of Christ who loves us. And I am sure that nothing can separate us from God's love, not life or death, angels or demons, present or future things, powers above or below, nothing in all creation can separate us from the love that God has for us in Jesus Christ. Let's wonder about God's good words together. I wonder, why do you think the church in Rome was not getting along? I wonder what types of things were causing arguments and dividing them. I wonder, why do you think Paul wrote a letter to the church in Rome? I wonder, how do you think the church felt when they received his letter? I wonder, why did Paul decide to remind them and explain the gospel to them? Have you ever felt that you needed to be reminded of God's gospel to us and how he loves us in Christ Jesus? I wonder, how does it feel to know that nothing can separate me from the love that God has for me? Let's pray together. God, thank you for not leaving us in our sin and disobedience, but for sending Jesus to rescue us and give us new hearts. Help us to remember every day the truth of your gospel and that nothing can separate us from the love that you have for us in Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen.